All right, hopefully this is working now. And I'm waiting to see myself on the YouTube live stream window. There we go. I can see myself. I'm not actually sure if the audio is in sync, though. Um, for some reason, I was in um, a stream, and there were a bunch of people in it. And once I, once I stopped the video on OBS, it, it like, deleted that stream, and it created a new one. Uh, I did not expect it to do that. Okay, yeah, last stream stopped. Okay, cool. So you guys are jumping back in here. I'll give everyone a sec to kind of circle circle, ah, circle around uh, and jump into um, this stream um, because the last stream just died. I mean, I, I stopped OBS and it was gone like that. And video and audio working good. Yeah, yeah, so I bumped it down to 720p. Um, this computer tends to struggle with 1080p streaming. I'm on my uh, W530 um, actually W541, Lenovo ThinkPad W541, and it, it really does have a hard time with anything above, uh, 720p. When I do major streaming, I usually hook it up to my desktop, because I got the 12-core Xeon in that. Um, but for this, I mean, I just wanted it to be a quick, kind of casual thing. Uh, I've been hoarding this laptop in storage for, like, the past four months. I've been meaning to make a video on it. And I just haven't had the time to get around to it. A lot of people are like, oh no, is the channel dead? You know, when are you going to make another video? Um, no, the channel is not dead. I've just been absolutely, like, slammed. Like, it's been super busy. Like, I've, I have a day job outside of this. Um, right now, I'm, I'm trying to build a house um, so I can finally move out of my parents' house. Um, so that's been taking up a good chunk of my time, too. Uh, that's kind of starting to settle down because the builders are starting to take over. Um, but still, I, I don't have time to make a, a full video on this yet. But I thought it'd be fun to do a little live stream and take uh, sort of a first look at it. So I'll let everyone get back into this um, stream um, because the last stream died once again and everyone's still kind of circling back around. Uh, and then we'll dig into this uh this uh, ultra rugged Dell laptop. This is the uh, XFR um, Latitude series. And as you guys can see, this thing is chunky. It is really cool looking. <laughs> Sound is not sync with the video. Aw. That other stream is still posted. Darn it. I really hate streaming on YouTube. <laughs> I, really, I mean, I refuse to go to a different platform because it's just too much work to keep track of all the platforms. Um, but I, I don't really like streaming on, uh, on YouTube that much. Yeah, is the, uh, is the uh, audio sync any better yet? Is, there, is the... I mean, if it's a little bit out of sync, that's okay. But for the most part, is the uh, audio matching up with my lips? Everything look good on your guys' uh, end here? Yeah, and while we're... Okay, sync is fine. Sound is good. Awesome! <laughs> Sweet. Um, so while we're waiting um, for people to jump into the stream here, uh, are there any questions for the channel? Because I know a lot of people were worried that the channel died. Um, once again, as I said earlier, that's not the case. I mean, I, I intend to keep on doing YouTube. I've just been really busy for the past four months with trying to build a house and my full-time day job. Um, and also going to school as well. Um, so it's... You know, it's it's hard to fit YouTube in there. I still love to do YouTube and I love interacting with my audience, but it's, you know, it's hard to find that time. Oh, sorry, I'm just reading through the chat right now. Are you alive? I love your content. <laughs> well, thank you. And yes, I am still alive. So what are we looking at right now? Who is in the stream? All right, I'd say I'd say we got we we have a decent amount of people in the stream. Concurrent viewers, thirty-five. Yeah, man, I look tired. <laughs> Heck, yeah, I'm tired, and I'm also having a really hard time reading the stream comments. So I'm gonna put my glasses on. Yeah, gonna need a video of the specs and benchmarks of this new house. Well, the new house is probably about nine months out right now. Uh, we're just starting the building process. Um, actually, well, I, I might do that in a separate stream. I have all the um, I have all the all the plans and stuff in here, um, the schematics and all that good stuff. But that's that's for a different video. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. The video title, 
you know, has this XFR machine in it, we're going to talk about this XFR machine. Uh, we're going to get started here in just a second. I'm just reading through the comments. Yeah, <laughs> time for a hairdresser. Yeah, I haven't gotten a haircut since, uh, actually since COVID started. I haven't been I, I haven't been going to get haircuts um so it's just it's growing all over the place and since I don't have to go into the office I'm not doing my hair um though I, I still have to do Teams video chats so I can only imagine what people are thinking uh, but I really don't care too much because I'm not physically going into the office. <laughs> Time for a hairdresser. What will your oh what what will your degree be? Um, so I, I'm, a am I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, you can't see it. So I have my, uh, my bachelor's in computer engineering, um, and I'm working on getting my master's in engineering management right now. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping to kind of work my way up the food chain. <laughs> and don't worry, I will, de I will delete that other video. Um, after I'm done with this, I just can't do it at the same time because I don't have enough screen real estate here. Um, I'm only using one monitor and I have like three windows open. Um, so it's, it's kind of hard to, uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to manage everything. Whatever happened to the, I'm, this is turning to a Q and A now. Sorry guys, I'll get started in a second. Whatever happened to the Crown Victoria? Um, so that's sitting out in the street right now. Uh, there was a family of, uh, rats that made their home in there, there like a month ago. And I didn't realize they were making their home. I, I scared them off. I put the car back under the car cover and then I came back a month later and they had a bunch of babies. <laughs> So it's, it's still there. I had to clear all that out. Um, so that, that's what I was actually doing uh, over the weekend was dealing with that whole, that whole situation. And they, chew, they didn't chew through any wires, thank God, but they chewed through the uh, windshield wiper um, fluid line. So when you, when you go to spray the windshield wiper fluid, it just sprays out all over in the, under the hood of the car. All right. I'm, I'll, I'll answer, I'll hang around and answer more questions at the end and interact with you guys. Um, but for people who are actually here to see about this laptop, you know, I don't want to keep wasting their time. Um, and the thing is, I don't really know too much about this machine because once again, I bought this four months ago. I stuck it in the closet and I, uh, I didn't really touch it after that. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, this is really a first look for both you and me. I, I know really nothing about this. I mean, I've seen this a couple times. Really, the only place I've seen this um, it was in police cars. I mean, this this is heavily used in uh, police departments, along with the uh, Panasonic Toughbook, I believe, um, as, you know, their ultra-rugged daily-use laptop. Um, so, once again, this is the Latitude E6420 XFR. Um, it is Dell's ultra rugged line of uh, laptops, just like the Panasonic Toughbook is uh, Panasonic's ultra rugged line of laptops. Um, but personally, if you look at the two side by side, I think this Dell XFR looks a lot meaner. Just with all of the, the design is, is really boxy and aggressive and it just looks tough, you know? It looks really, really rugged, and I love it. Um, so when I was in college, I was actually thinking about buying one of these. I mean, they were extremely expensive. I think when I was in college, these were like 500 bucks. I picked this up for about 300 off eBay four months ago. Um, but when I was in college, I really wanted to get one of these and use it as a daily use laptop um, because I just think it looks so cool. Um, and I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, it getting smashed by books in my uh, backpack or, you know, getting soaked while I'm running uh, through the rain in my car to get back to the parking garage. Um, so I was actually really seriously considering getting one of these. But the thing is, they weigh like nine and a half pounds. And you guys think carrying around a W series is ridiculous. I mean, I, I this is a... Oh, <laughs> just one sec, I lost video. If you think carrying a W series around is ridiculous, I mean this is a whole nother beast. Sorry, the video went out. I'm using my uh, I'm using my D5300. I usually don't use that to stream, and I guess it cuts off after like 10 minutes. Um, so if it happens again, I'll just run over real quick, and we'll flip it back on. It's not it's not too difficult. So this is a 14 inch screen. Um, it's 10 pounds once again. <laughs> And I'm actually not even sure if it works uh, because I, I haven't gotten the chance to plug it in and test it. I guess that's something we'll try to do during this video. Um, 
and, uh, you know, see if this thing will actually turn on and boot. Um, so it doesn't have a hard drive. And the cool thing about this is everything is accessible behind these little panels, so it's supposed to be watertight. Um, so the hard drive is accessible by, there's a little switch right here. So you just pull the switch back, or I guess latch would be a more appropriate term. So you pull the latch back, the hard drive door should pop open. There we go, I had to use my finger there. Uh, and this is the hard drive bay right here. Which you guys can see is, uh, you can't see too well, but that is that is empty. This this unit shipped without a drive. Um, so we're not actually going to be able to boot this up and, uh, you know, go into Windows 7, which originally came on these. Um, I'm going to have to find a drive for it first uh, and install it. So that's that's for the future video. I'm going to I'm gonna get all the B-roll and we're going to get all the benchmarks and everything. And that's going to go in the upcoming video. But for now, once again, we're just taking a first look at this absolute behemoth someone in the comments section you said you better watch out you know don't drop that on your desk uh, or else it might break it and i you know absolutely agree there this thing is uh oh of course as i said that i just smashed my desk with it yeah this this thing is huge and very heavy <laughs> so everything is behind a door like that so there's another door here for uh looks like we have serial and vga um, and if you look at the way they set up these doors, on the door itself, there's this little foam that seals around um, the connectors and I believe makes them watertight. Once again, I don't know a ton about this laptop, but that's my best guess. You can see there's, there's kind of this um, rubber insulator around here to keep water out. And then on the back, uh, it looks like we're missing a panel because I don't think traditionally the uh, ethernet would be exposed like that there are two screw holes right here so it looks like that panel um, is missing someone took it off and just didn't put it back on um, but I think that usually would be sealed uh, we have the battery compartment right here it did it did ship with a battery it's got this little pull tab and you can just yank it out um, you have to release it first there's two little uh, release latches on the bottom and I can't do this with, with, with my hands. Ah, there we go. Wow. Do you see how small that battery is? Jesus, that thing's tiny. You look at this massive laptop and you think you would pull something out a little bit bigger. What's the, uh, what's the rating on this? So it's an 11.1 volt battery, 60 watt hours. Yeah, I, I doubt you're looking at uh, much battery life out of this. I mean, you're maybe looking at two, maybe three hours tops uh, with this tiny little battery. And chances are it's probably dead. Um, since, once again, we bought this off eBay with no guarantees. And that's usually how things roll on eBay. When you, when you buy these used laptops, you get them. Chances are the batteries are toast. So let's just assume that the battery's toast here. All right, let's move around to the other side. And of course, there's also the uh, power jack um, right there. Once again, it looks like we're missing a uh, panel right here. I'm guessing a panel went on the ethernet and a panel went on the um, uh, power jack uh, area to keep water out of there. But it looks like those are uh, MIA right now, unfortunately. Sorry, I keep looking over at my dog because it's trying to get out. We're going to take a uh, commercial break here. I'll be back in just a second because the dog keeps trying to uh, get out of my room. I'm not sure if you can hear her in the background. All right, I'm back. I just had to get up real quick and let the dog out. Hey, guys. Um, so I'm going to take a breather here and scroll through the uh, comment section real quick. Um, yeah, someone said it has cereal. So it does have cereal, and someone was asking why it has cereal. I mean, I, I can only guess at this point, really, because I haven't done the research. You know, people are going to come back to the stream, and they're going to be like, you have no idea what you're talking about. And yes, I have no idea what I'm talking about, because... Once again, this is a first look. I just wanted to check out this laptop with you guys. Um, and I really haven't done too much homework on it. That's for the primary video. That's when I actually take, you know, the couple hours and research all the specs and, 
and find out, you know, what his competition was, you know, why they built it the way they did. Um, but if I were to guess, I would say that it has cereal. And once again, for you guys coming in here, it does have cereal right under this panel. That is VGA and that is cereal. Um, my guess is that uh, there's a lot of government stuff um, older legacy stuff that still uses a serial connection. So when you're building an ultra rugged laptop to be used by government organizations such as the military or the police, it makes sense to include a serial port so they don't have to go out and get an adapter. Um, once again, that's just a guess uh, from my experience from working in the government. Um, but that's what I, I believe it is for. All right, any other questions before we move on? Yeah, someone also said it's not a rare thing on more business laptops to have serial connectors. That's true as well. Um, also, it's not rare to have VGA connectors because if you, if you, well, at least with my experience, you know, every single conference room I've been in, they have VGA. They might not have HDMI. They might not have DVI. But I guarantee you, there is going to be a VGA connector somewhere in that presentation room. You will be able to hook up via VGA. So VGA is still incredibly incredibly common uh, in the business world. Uh, could you please let us know the specs on that machine? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this, this has a dual core i7, I don't know what generation, I think it's second generation. Um, once again, don't know too much about it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in, we're gonna boot into the BIOS, and then I'll show you guys the specs of the machine because you guys are finding out with me, I have, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of uh, holy craps. You're back. I never left. I I did not intend to leave. I just got really busy. I'm sorry, guys. All right. So we did this side of the laptop. This side of the laptop. Or on the side. So what are we looking at here? Oh, we have ESAT. Oh wow. This has H. This has. Does this have HDMI? So right there it says HDMI. It does have HDMI. <laughs> That's really surprising. Look at that. Here, let me see if I let me see if I can actually get the focus. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Look at that. That's HDMI. So this has this has two video ports. It has VGA and HDMI, and then right above that is uh, eSATA. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, and once again, it has that sort of um, you know uh, protective waterproof barrier um, on the inside of this uh, cover as well. All right, what's behind the final door? We're about to find out. I think this is all the I.O. Um, that's what it looks like anyway, based off you know all the pictures on here. This looks like I.O. Um, so yeah, oh wow. We have, a, uh, we have a DVD drive too. So we have a DVD drive. It looks like uh, two, I wanna say these are USB 2.0 ports just based off the generation of laptop. Uh, and of course they're not blue, but they don't have to be blue to be USB 3.0. Um, so my guess would be USB 2.0, um, DVD drive will pop out. No, it looks like we can yank it out though. Oh yeah. So there's a little, there's a little, uh, little push button right here. Push this tab comes out and you just pull it out like so. I'm not sure how easy this thing is going to be to work on. Uh, we're going to find out in the full video. Um, but it looks like it's going to be. A pain to work on because just I mean look at all the screws and stuff on the bottom of this I have no idea how you would break into uh, this laptop to actually get to the stuff you need I mean the hard drives easily accessible because once again the hard drives just right there I'll be able to give you guys a better look at this come on so that's the hard drive bay so you just slide a drive right in there I'm assuming you need a caddy of some sort but that's easily accessible but you know we really should break into this thing uh, and replace the thermal paste on the um, cooler, um, on the CPU heatsink, and, and look at the RAM and everything else as well. See see what makes this thing tick. Um, and once again, that's I'm gonna do that in the full video. I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. So I think I covered everything. And uh, while we're actually in focus, you know, let me give you guys a better look at this laptop. So there's the back of it right there. You can steal that uh, Windows 7 code if you want, because I'm not going to use it. 
has a docking station port under here, as all uh, enterprise laptops should. There's our docking station port. And uh, I'm just, I'm looking at this, trying to figure out how to take it apart. I really hope I don't have to take all like 30 of these screws out, out to get to the motherboard, because that's gonna be one heck of an adventure. Hmm. All right, I'll give you a better look at the VGA in serial. Right there. Give you a better look at the battery bay and the two, uh, the, the power jack and the ethernet on the back. Cause I was trying, it's, it's hard to get everything in focus and talk and look at the stream at the same time while I'm sitting down. So I'll just do it all right now so you guys can get a better look at this. And then uh, I think you guys already saw the um, HDMI and eSATA and all the uh, IO, but I'll give you one last look at that. <laughs> and also looking at this thing, I mean, if you had to use this on a daily basis and every time you wanted to plug in a flash drive, you had to open this door, I think that would get frustrating after a while. Um, so another good reason uh, why you shouldn't buy one of these and use them as your daily driver. <laughs> it does look menacing though. I mean, just look at that. If you saw someone carrying this thing around, I mean, you, this is a head turner for sure. Oh, in the front as well. So the front has this little handle. Um, clearly, it's it seems some use. It's it's had some good days, or or better days, I should say, because um, there's a there's a whole lot of material and rubber coming off this handle. I mean, it still works as intended. You can, you know, grab onto it, lug it around like uh, like a briefcase. You know, you're just walking to class. You got your XFR machine. This thing is really ridiculous. Um, I mean, I love it. It's a really cool looking laptop, uh, but man, this is, this is impractical. Oh, man, this, this is a really stupid place for the SD card reader, I'm gonna be honest. So the SD card reader is, is right here. There's a little door you slide, and you can barely see it. I, SD card slides in right there um, where the handle is blocking. I don't know why they would put it there. I guess they ran out of space. Yeah, that would suck to try to get an SD card in there. You would have to, like, you have to go under the handle, get your SD card, like, right. You have to move the handle back a little bit, get the SD card right there, and then press it in. Um, yeah, no thank you. That's that's not a, uh, unless the handle comes off easily somehow, which I don't think it does. Yeah, that's a terrible design. <laughs> Absolutely awful design. Cool. Well, I, I hope I convinced you guys why you shouldn't use this as a daily driver, um, and it's all out of focus now. I think I'm in focus if I get a little bit closer to the camera. There we go. Whew. <laughs> I think these were primarily used by militaries. Yeah, um, so it's it, once again, it's an ultra-rugged machine. Um, police forces, military, that kind of thing. Um, these are meant for, you know, outdoor extreme environments. You know, where the, where the ThinkPad, you know, couldn't make it, this could. Along with the Panasonic Toughbook. I'm not sure which is tougher, to be honest. Uh, but I, I really like the way this looks. I, I would take this over to Panasonic Toughbook any day just because of the... <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying that. But just because of the looks. I mean, this looks way more menacing than the, than the Panasonic Toughbook does. Alright, opening it up, once again, we have a 14-inch screen. I think this is 1366 by 768. I had to... Can I... Ah, let me get this back in focus. One second. There's some sort of uh, feud going on in the comments section right now. <laughs> Can I get a shout out? Can I get a shout out? Can I get a shout out? No, you cannot get a shout out. Stop asking. <laughs> uh, let's see what else is in here that I missed. Looks like the kind of stuff they used in the homeland. I'm not sure where you're from. Hmm. Why do YouTube wants... What? 
All right, I I made the fatal mistake of uh, going through the, uh, the the live chat. <laughs> sometimes the comments are great. Sometimes they're just uh, a little bit weird. All right. So back to the topic at hand, this XFR machine. Um, and once again, we are gonna actually try to boot this up and uh, see if it worked. Cause I paid three hundred dollars for this, and uh, cross your fingers that it turns on. Because if it doesn't turn on, we're not gonna have a video. And if we don't have a video, I just lost three hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Once again, fourteen-inch screen. Uh, I believe it's thirteen sixty-six by seven sixty-eight. I could be wrong about that. Um, I keep looking back because I have the spec sheet open here, but I'm not sure if I want to take the time to scroll through it and see what the specs are. Oh, it is. I was right. It's a, it's a 1366 by 768 14-inch display, and there's two options. There's a um, touchscreen option, um, and there's a non-touchscreen option, and they're both, uh, well, they, they, they call these Wide View Outdoor Viewable LED displays with direct view technology so i'm guessing that just means that these are are built so that you can see them in the outdoors with direct sunlight that sort of thing so you know you know if you took a regular laptop outside you, you can't see anything right it just the screen just looks black but if you take this outside um i think it's bright enough where you can actually you know view this in direct or nearly direct uh sunlight all right so we solved that mystery. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us what generation i7 is in this thing. It just says Intel Core i5 and i7 dual core processors. Why couldn't you be more specific? Oh, no way. So these ship with Windows 7, and they also, they also shipped with Ubuntu 10.10. <laughs> wow. So they were shipping, I know, I know Dell, or I think it's Dell ships Linux on some of their XPS units right now. Um, but I didn't realize they shipped Linux on their machines this far back. Um, and it's it's in the it's in the official Dell spec uh, spec page for the uh, E24 or, or 6420. Um, and I'll actually post that right now. Yeah, it's a, I think it is a second gen. Here I'll post it in the uh, in the in the top the live chat. There you go. So that's the spec sheet I'm looking at right now if you guys want to follow along. Um, yeah, it's really surprising. Linux Ubuntu 10.10. .10. I wonder what the sticker... I wonder if they actually had like uh, like an Ubuntu sticker that they, they put on there. That would have been really cool to see um, if, if we got one of those units. I probably would have taken it off and put it on my uh, on my laptop. Because uh, that's that would be really neat um, to see a sticker for Ubuntu from that era. All right. All right, so moving on, got stuck on the display there and the whole Linux thing. Um, the keyboard, I mean, I haven't gotten a chance to use the keyboard that much. I played around with it um, when I took it out of storage, and it feels decent. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it's waterproof, but I believe it is a waterproof keyboard, so I think you could take a hose and just spray this whole thing down. Um, another thing not to quote me on, because I'm not 100% positive, but it does seem like it is built that way. Um, the uh, track... Pad buttons are a little different because they are these are 100% sealed, um, so it's actually a uh, rubber casing around the buttons themselves, uh, and it's it's completely sealed off from the elements. So if you were to spray water or, or something of the like on there, um, it would not get under those uh, those buttons and and destroy them. Same thing with the trackpad. It looks like the trackpad is also completely sealed. Um, I think that's it for... Oh, so it looks like we have a microphone array up here. Uh, and I think it looks like there is also an option for the webcam, for a webcam. Is that in the spec sheet? Eh. Huh. Yeah, I'm not seeing it in the spec sheet. Well, there's a cutout right... And you, you guys can clearly see it on the stream. There's a cutout right... Uh, can't, there we go. There's a cutout right here um, for the uh, webcam, what looks like an optional webcam. All right, so now let's get to the moment we've all been uh, waiting for, and that is to actually plug this thing in. So I should have a power adapter for this. I have like 10 Dell power adapters laying around, so one of them has to work. Uh, so let's give it a go. Yeah. 
Yeah, someone said the laptop is IP65 rated, so that means it can survive jets of water. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm pretty sure um, I saw somewhere reading through the, the docs that it is IP65 rated, um, but I don't I don't have that written down on paper right now, you know, in front of me. So I don't don't that's that's not confirmed. <laughs> so no one don't don't take a hose and spray down your your Dell Latitude uh, XFR unit because I'm not sure if it's 100 percent waterproof. Uh, Debian or Ubuntu? Are you asking if Debian or Ubuntu was on this or shipped with this laptop? Um, because this shipped with Ubuntu 10.10 uh, .10 as an option according to the spec sheet. Yeah, it's in the spec sheet, and I, I put the spec sheet in the uh, top chat. It's probably all the way up there, but it's in there. Yes, they they had Ubuntu stickers. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, I would love to find one of those on uh, on eBay. That'd be really cool just to see what the um, the stickers that shipped with them look like. Because that during the ten point ten era, I think I mean Ubuntu, Ubuntu Linux in general is is really a lot more accepted now than it was back then. I started using uh, Ubuntu and Linux on a daily basis uh, back at uh, twelve point oh four, so ten point ten is a little before my time. Um, but it didn't really start seeing, you know, major and major adoption until maybe five to seven years ago. And now now Linux is really way more mainstream um, than it ever was. I mean, you you, you talk to us if, if you talk to someone about Linux and they, they know what you're talking about. Whereas, you know, 10 years ago, no one had I mean, besides the super techie people, people really no one had any idea what, what Linux was. Yeah, I need a haircut. Yes, yes, I, I do need a haircut. Okay, I'm gonna go into the uh, magical box. Actually, I'll just bring the box of chargers up, up here and we'll see if we can find one. There's so much dust in this thing. <laughs> it's just all over my hands and everything. All right, let's see if we can find a power adapter for this. And I might not, I might not have a genuine Dell power adapter, um, and I think this might be one of those units. Um, so, fun fact, I didn't know this, um, but apparently, if you don't use a genuine Dell power adapter, um, for with some models, it throttles performance. Um, it will still turn on, but the performance is just garbage. It throttles the CPU, and it's incredibly slow. I don't know if it's the same with this. I mean, I complain about not using a, a genuine Dell charger. Uh, but that's okay because we're just trying to get to the BIOS. But if it does complain, then that means I'm going to have to find a genuine Dell charger or power supply to actually use during the uh, full video because uh, we need to do benchmarks and we don't want to constrict this thing with a uh, aftermarket uh, garbage, you know, uh, power adapter. This is uh, this is a PAL, PAL seed, PAL, PAL seed power adapter. I'm pretty sure this one this one works. I think I've used this in a couple videos. Uh, can I find an outlet? Is the question. Ooh. Let's find an outlet. I found an outlet. Oh, my camera's about to cut out. There we go. Good enough. Oh man, I got a I got a migraine from this this studio light that I have up here. It's like right in my face. <laughs> it's giving me the worst headache. Hmm. All right. I'm ready to plug this thing in and see if it blows up. Uh, hopefully we got the right power. I, this looks like a Dell power adapter or a, a Dell plug power jack. There we go. That's what I was looking for. This looks like a Dell power jack, and this this looks like it uses a standard Dell power jack. You know that that all the uh, Dell laptops used from this era. So I think we're good there. Oh man. So this is a this is a right angle power um, jack, 
and it doesn't fit very well. I might have to move it back. There we go. Okay, I see a battery. Oh, all right. <laughs> I didn't even push a power button. It just came on. What's it complain? Is it complaining about the power adapter? No, it's not. But you guys would probably like to see what I'm looking at. So let me zoom you guys in. That's about what we expected. So yeah, media test failure, check cable, exiting until boot. Yeah, because once again, we don't uh, we don't have a hard drive. We didn't get any weird battery errors though. Um, sometimes, once again, if you use those aftermarket power supplies that aren't genuine Dell power supplies, uh, it'll throw an error and complain about it. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be doing that. So maybe it would make sense that they wouldn't implement that on a laptop like this because if you're out in the field and all you have is uh is an aftermarket uh power supply and you know god forbid your genuine one broke and you have to use that you know i don't think they would throttle performance on you because this is supposed to be a field laptop but i could be wrong i mean it the the message just might not be displaying and it might actually be doing that so i'm not i'm not sure um once again just taking uh kind of some blind guesses here uh all right, we need to get into the BIOS. Can I? Did that do it? No. Oh, F12. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, we got to go through that again. Sorry, guys. All right, so it should be enter. I saw F12 was uh, boot options. I think F2 should be BIOS. That's maybe delete. Let's try it again. Yeah, there we go. We're in. All right, let's check out what we have for system specs. This is one of those. Oh, uh, this is one of those BIOS that use the the mouse. Ah, oh, I hate these. I just want to use the keyboard. All right, there we go. So we're looking at. Uh, we're probably looking at something you guys can't even see. <laughs> Let me move the camera closer. That's not fair to you guys. Well, the good news is it actually runs, so it's not a uh, it's not three hundred dollars wasted. Thank goodness. So let's check out the specs here. So we're actually using four gigs of RAM. Um, I believe that is DDR. Oh, it is. It says DDR three. Okay, so it's DDR three uh, running at thirteen thirty three. Um, what else do we have here? What kind of CPU are we rocking? Okay, so you guys were right. Um, it is a second gen dual core i seven at two point seven gigahertz. Um. And it's it's hard to read like from the angle I'm at, so you guys can uh, check out all the other CPU specs right there because it, it you guys should be able to see it now I think. Um, let's see, manufacture date 2011. So this thing's nearing a decade old, and man, are these things still expensive for being a decade old? I mean, you go on the used market, and once again, I, I picked this up for three hundred dollars, and that was that was actually cheap um, compared to some of the other models, uh, some of the other F. XFRs I was looking at. These things are, they, they hold their value very well, just like a Panasonic Toughbook does. Let's see, battery information. Oh, we took the battery out. Duh. Anything else that'd be interesting to you guys? Video? Performance. What do we have in here? Oh, nothing. Oh, I should probably, duh. Ah. Uh, and I'm not looking at the chat right now, but you guys are probably screaming at me. Sorry. Oh my god. That's not even full brightness? What's full brightness? Holy cow! Jesus! That's bright! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you would, uh, you could definitely use this outside in, uh, in the sunlight for sure. I thought that- I thought it was already on max brightness. And then it was only at like 20%. Holy crap. That's impressive. That, and it's, it's a, uh, for, for being a 1366 by 768 display, 
It's actually pretty good looking. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Multicol. I mean, it, that should be enabled. Yeah. Okay. Speed step. Yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing too interesting here. I'll go through here in case uh, you guys want to read this all. Yeah. I don't. I don't. And turbo boost. Hyper threading should be enabled. Oh, so this is okay. So this is a hyper threaded CPU. So it should be two cores, four threads. Is it complaining about the uh, the power adapter anywhere? I don't think it is. Okay. Um, and just for the heck of it, let's see if there's anything uh, cool in the system logs. BIOS events. Oh. Uh, what's it complaining about here? If a service tag, the system will be able to charge batteries until this battery is removed. Huh. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah, all right, so there there are it looks like two errors in the BIOS. Oh, there <laughs> there is one of those uh, AC power adapter uh, warnings in here. So someone was using a, a bad adapter. Maybe that was me. When was that? Four twenty seven twenty twenty. That was either I think that must have been the tech who was testing the laptop. Maybe uh, before they. Sent it out uh, would be my guess. I don't think it was me because I don't think I played around with it too much. Or I might have and I could have forgotten. Hmm. Okay. Still, it's neat to see the stuff in the logs. Thermal events. Does this thing ever overheat? Uh, no. That's no fun. Power on, power off, power on. Oh, maybe I did look at this. So there's, there's some around uh, 06. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's gonna be about it. Uh, let me let me zoom out. So I think that's gonna be about it for this video. Oh God! Of course the camera's not high enough. I'm zoomed in all the way, that's why. Whoa. No, I'm not. I just moved it really close. That's what happened. Uh, Alright, that did it. Um, I'm just reading the chat again. Oh, I got to sneeze. Do I want to do I want to turn the camera off? Oh, can I hold it in? I got to sneeze. Mm, okay, it's gone. All right. So I think that's really going to conclude the first look um, at this Dell XFR machine. Uh, if you guys want me to look at anything else, I don't think there's really anything else I could look at. I mean, I could throw a drive in and see if we can boot Windows 7, but that's going to take like an hour and a half. I don't, I don't have an image of Windows 7 laying around right now, um, so it's going to take a really long time. Um, if there's anything you want to see with regards to the laptop as it stands right now, I'd be happy to show you. Um, so go ahead and post it in the live chat. But besides that, I think we're going to call it on this first look of this Dell XFR, uh, or this Dell Latitude E6420 XFR. Can we boot Windows 7? No, sorry, I'm, I just, it's just going to take too long. Um, it's getting really hot in here too because I'm streaming. I got all the equipment running. Um, so it's trying to get a little bit toasty. Um, so I would like to stop streaming here in a couple minutes and not cook myself. All right, check in the comments now to see if you guys uh, if you guys have uh, any suggestions. Do a video. I mean, yeah, yeah, I am going to do a full video on it. I just... It's just going to take a while. That's why we did this kind of first look video so you guys know that the channel's not dead because that's what a lot of people were worried about. Um, the channel is not dead. I'm here still making videos. I've just been caught up for like the past four months. Um, so the channel's not dead. We're, this, this, is, this is an upcoming video.
Can you cut down some trees on camera? Um, I am not at my property right now, so no. There are no trees here to uh, cut down. I think that would make my parents not very happy. All right, guys. I think I'm going to call it here. Um, I got to go delete that other video. I'm, I might try to edit this one and cut some uh, downtime out. Or I might just leave it in for the, the fun of the stream. Still reading the comments. And also getting a much larger headache from that light, which is glaring down on me right now. <laughs> Gotta love studio lights. Can you do a QA? and a um, I think I'm running out of time right now for a, a q and a. It's starting to get a little bit late, and I, I have some stuff that I need to knock out for today. Uh, but I can do a Q&A maybe later, um, maybe in a week or two, somewhere around there. I would like to do a Q&A. That's, that's always... I kind of did that a little bit already in this video. Um, but a dedicated Q&A would be nice. You guys are right. Yeah, throw 8 gigs. So I'm probably not going to bump the RAM up anymore. Um, I'm just... I'm going to run benchmarks as is right now. I might get it an SSD just to give it a fighting chance. Uh, but as far as, you know, major upgrades, I already spent $300 to buy this laptop there are no funds left for anything additional besides taking an ssd that i already have in the back um and throwing it into this machine so any major upgrades are out of the question and i think this actually is the uh, higher tier version um because they also ship this with a dual core um i5 variant as well which is the uh, slightly lower tier tier model i think really the only thing we're missing is the uh, webcam on this i mean it, and the, i don't even know if it has a would the touchscreen work in the BIOS? I don't. I don't know if it has a touchscreen or not. Um, it might. We might find that out when we uh, install an OS on it. What color socks are you wearing? Oh, this is a plot twist. I'm not wearing socks. Does it have a video card? So I think it's Intel Integrated Graphics. Oh, right on the spec sheet, right in front of me, it says Intel HD Graphics 3000. Oh, or. It also comes with NVIDIA or NVIDIA NVS 4200M discrete graphics. I don't think this one has the discrete graphics. I could be wrong. Um, I think this one's just Intel integrated, but there are two options on the spec sheet, one for uh, HD graphics 3000 and one for uh, NVIDIA 4200M discrete graphics with 512 megabytes um, of VRAM. Hmm. Can you kill someone with that laptop? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, yeah, you, uh, you, you could probably get away with killing someone with a ThinkPad, to be honest. This is, like, way above the ThinkPad. This is, you, you could get... You could do a lot of damage with one of these. <laughs> what color feet are you wearing? The same color as my skin. Uh, I'm just humoring you guys. I'm going through the, the comments and looking at some of the... Uh, this, uh, they're stupid. Some of, the, some of the stupider ones. I mean, I know they're for fun, but they're, they're stupid. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. All right, guys, I'm going to call it here. Comment section, uh, comment section starting, oh, voice crack. Uh, comment section starting to get a little bit out of hand, so let's end it while we're ahead. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Once again, I am back. I am. I did not intend to stop making videos for that long. Um, and there are going to be videos upcoming uh, in the near future, the first of which is going to be on this XFR machine. So I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully we can do a QA and a um, in the near future. I was wondering what the sound was. The fan on the laptop just kicked on. Uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you in uh, hopefully the next installment of A Computers and Technology, which will hopefully be, you know, sometime in the very near future. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't take another four months to push a video out. Um, because once again, I, I don't intend to stop doing YouTube. It's just been hard uh, to find the time to make a full video because there's a lot of steps. Got to edit it. Got to shoot all the B-roll. Got to get all the benchmarks and stuff. I mean, it's like a two to three day process. Um, so putting one of those videos together and getting getting it all up fit and finish. My light keeps like flashing on and off. Uh, it, it's a very long process. So I'm hoping to find that time to do that soon. All right. See you guys.